Ozzy, uh, so just finished at the 800 at the free throw team. Took second place. How did you feel going into that? Was it a big measuring stick for you, or what does this race mean? Yeah, we definitely were using today as kind of just to see where we were. I know we have to work on the next few weeks. Um, I'm kind of satisfied with where we are. I know my coach is going to have some different feedback just because tactically it didn't go exactly how you know we planned, but that's racing and it's, it's always good to just be competitive at this level and compete well. So, so what, was, going that today. what was the plan that he told you to try to do? Uh, he just told me don't be work, don't be any worse than fourth place at the quarter and it just seemed like I'd have to swing too wide to do that. I'd have to fight a little bit so I just settled on being tight to the back of the pack so we'll see what he thinks about it. With the current state of the 800, what do you think, what is like the best way to really race and attack it? Because you have like a thing that will take it out hard but yeah. you love to take it out hard as well and you can, you can sit and kick as well with Raven. So how do you really go into a race knowing there's so many different factors? Yeah, you kind of just have to be ready for anything. And I think the race has changed too, like based on who's in it, where people are in their fitness for the year. So it's kind of like you go in with three or four different things can happen and you have to just be on your feet and be ready to adapt and put yourself in the best position. What's it been like seeing uh, like Juliet break two, Sophia's right there, Rusty Williams. I feel like you and Mary really like started this wave of young women breaking two in the 800. And that was just like, I feel like it's gonna become normal. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. And I think I also think about like what goes into running that fast. It's, it's very hard. and. Even some people at the pro stage, you're like, it takes you a while to get to that point. So for them to be able to be as disciplined and work as hard to be able to get to that point, it's like, it's crazy. I was nowhere near that position um, at that age. So it's, it's impressive. It really is. I think it's really crazy, too, because I'm like, you're still like, yeah, you're 20, you're 26. Me? Yeah. Uh, I'm 28, but okay, we're gonna I was say... 26. I just turned 28 last week. Yeah. Well, hey, actually, happy birthday to you. But I'm like, you're a veteran in this game, but still like, young in your prime years and now it's like all these people coming in are like 20 years 20 years old and you were in that position when, I was. like right before that yes i was i was i was known as a teenager well into my 20s so i definitely remember being in that position and being on the other side um seeing how everyone supported me like i get it to be able to see someone doing the same thing for a younger age this is awesome to watch what do you want to work on in these next couple weeks to get ready for usa's and world I think key for us is just staying healthy, no interruptions in training. Um, definitely want to keep working on closing hard after a fast early pace. I think that's how the race is going to like shift as you know we all get stronger and the year goes on. So.